Hey guys, this is Tony. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I had some people ask me about the VCT rattle on the cam gear. Uh, I'm going to show you how to fix that. That way you won't have that issue and you don't have to go out and buy a whole brand new VCT gear. Uh, and this works for, you know, K20 a2s z3s k24s it doesn't matter i mean it's all the same functionality for the vtc other than it being you know uh, 25 degree or 50 but um i'm gonna show you what i have here and uh i'll show you how to fix that uh so you can get rid of that rattle and i've done this already on like four other my friends cars and None of them have had any issue going forward with the rattling. Um, and it's, it's simple. Um, if the, if the motor is still in the car, I mean, you can still do it. If it's outside of the car, excuse me, you can still do it. It doesn't matter. Um, but, uh, let's get into it and I'll show you. Here, I have an RBV, uh, you know, VCT gear. Um, so basically what you do, if it's in the car, it's like this, basically, with the cam still attached to it. What you want to do is locate on the back of it, this little circle right here. That shows you an indication of where the lock spring is at. So what you want to do is locate that, just get a general you know, memory of where it's at before you decide to remove these four get these four screws here which i've already done so basically what you're going to do is basically while it's on the car like this you just slowly remove these one by one and there will be a little you see how it's starting to pull up a little bit here you see that because that's the spring on the inside you know basically given basically it's it's expanding so with it on the car you want to make sure also that this part here on the back end that it doesn't come up away from the actual gear itself so when you do this make sure that you unscrew those screws very slowly so that this here doesn't separate from the back of it um, but it should be enough to where it should still hold in place because there's actually like little springs on the inside of here that that keep that together but you know just be mindful that this part right here will, will slowly crack open just a little bit but make sure that it you keep it together and you don't and it doesn't come apart because if it comes apart you're gonna have to pull it you're gonna have to pull it from the cam gear and reassemble everything all together and redo your timing but if you if you take it off slowly at a time just little by little and just and just listen and just feel where it's at because like I said that spring is right there so and if you can you might be able to see it a little bit right there so slowly pull this off and forgive me, man, I'm trying to do this with one hand. So, so if you. So when you pull this off, this plate, and remember where you where you actually pulled it off at. You know, of course, there's that dot right there. There's a dot that's right there that indicates the TDC mark. So make sure that that arrow lines back up with that dot. Pull this off, slowly pull it off. You see that this piece right here? That's the little plastic piece that, um, that sits inside the spring. So basically what you wanna do is make sure if, it, if you're doing this with it on the motor that you put a towel up under the up under the the vct gear so that if if you do pull this off and if it falls it'll land on the towel and you can grab it you don't want you don't don't put anything up under it um 
that could slide down or that could fall inside inside the timing gear cover put a towel that way you can tuck it up under the gear up under the gear itself so you can tuck it up under the gear so if it does fall it'll catch it so what you do is you pull this out pull this little pipe piece don't lose this pull the spring pull the spring at pull the spring out sorry what happens over time this wears out and you don't get that rattle because of oil starvation or you know stuff like that or or clog ports it's, it's because of this lock spring over time it loses its tension so that's what keeps that what allows the vct gear to lock in place so what you do is basically take this spring and you stretch it however much you feel that, you know that needs to be stretched or whatever i mean doesn't take much but just stretch it stretch it out and then you just reinstall it see how much higher it sits, sits out versus what it was before just put this little plastic piece back in line that arrow indicator up with the dot that's there just like so and one by one put your put your screws back in make sure once again and I can't can't tell you enough on the back end make sure that that piece doesn't come away from the BCT gear and make sure that it stays on there this shouldn't take you no more than 30 minutes to do if you remove the valve cover and the you know and the coal packs and all this stuff or whatever to do um, uh, all you're gonna need is a torx bit uh, which I had here somewhere. No, you need the torch bit. I'm not sure what what it is. Let's see. Uh, it doesn't tell you. As long as you find a torch bit that fits that fits inside of here. And make sure when you put it back that you torque these back and I think it's like uh, I want to say seven or eight foot pounds of torque and uh, that's it and like I said once again make sure when it's when it's on the gear like when it's in the car like this and you have the cam here that this part right here oh you'll see it slowly start to come come back just a little bit that's fine long as you long as you keep long as you keep tension on this as you're taking off these bolts here one by one long as it it should stay together with it being put onto the, with it still being attached to the to the cam gear so you shouldn't have an issue with it but other than that i mean once you locate that spring on the back and then you're gonna remove these one by one slowly with it sitting on the inside the car you'll have your chain on top and then you'll basically you'll just tuck a towel up under the timing chain cover that way if you do drop that spring it'll fall on top of the towel and you won't have to worry about it falling into the, the timing chain cover and put everything back like i said it's, it's fairly simple you know job i mean there's nothing special about it and um you'll it'll get rid of your your rattle I mean completely I mean I've done it on my car uh, my car has uh, I want to say right now even with all the mods I mean I'm pushing right around 260,000 miles I mean and I was I had the rattle and after I did the mod I haven't had any issues with it going forward I mean like I said and also I've done this I've done this on four of the friends cars and none of them had any issues and um 
and it's an easy way to fix the rattle without having to go and spend two hundred dollars or three hundred dollars on a VCC gear or even a used one uh, of that matter uh, but that'll help anybody that's having that that issue of when the car starts up and you have that weird rattle sounds like you know like you got a throttle bearing you know going bad on you or you know a rod knock but um uh, yeah that that sh that should fix the issue well, like i said i've done this on four of the, my friends cars and nobody's had an issue with it uh making that noise after that um uh, so uh if you want try that method it works i mean i've done it uh, i've have, haven't had any issues with it on my car um but um like i said if you have any comments you know link you know let me know down below you know like the video and uh i'll try to put more content out there for you guys all right peace out